Where's Ari gonna play bowls at tonight? [noise] I dunno. [noise] Hello. [noise] And welcome to the next live stream. In just a minute. So I make kind of a next stream which I hope will go further very nice for all of us guys, so we'll see. Okay. So we have twelve players here. I hope that uh will be more in a couple of minute. So, I would like to get kind of a, you know, fifteen to twenty people will be enough. So, just just a sec please. So, anyone who like to see the live stream I hope will be fine with it. Um I'm trying to make it regularly so, I make it today and uh I will make it probably tomorrow. Uh around the same time, probably slightly uh slightly later because uh I play tomorrow in the Croatian Cup. It's kind of the semi-final where we will play uh tomorrow and on a Sunday, but later afternoon when I finish 
I'm pretty sure that I will make another uh, live stream. So we have a 12 players for now and let's stay and see um, can we get someone else here. So we are here also in the chat so if someone wants to you know ask any kind of the question and if I'm here um, who you know can get you any kind of the answer I would like to um, hear from you so I'll try really to go hard and uh, work to provide you kind of a um, nice answer I hope so I work with uh, my students from all around the world for the last 15 to 20 years I have um, very nice experience in this period and uh, I write kind of the books later for the great teaching chessable uh, site who uh, makes kind of for me very entertaining learning process so they have uh, the trainer which is implemented great on the side and to get the people who like to, to learn from their uh, great experience so okay we have 16 players so let's start for today I would like to choose my regular opening system again so I will start to play d4 with white and see where this will go I'm pretty sure that I make a wrong decision to put only the white pieces in all of the uh, games but okay doesn't matter I would like you know to get and see where this will uh, get so for today I would like to entertain you kind of my own rep opening repertoire which I also analyze a lot and uh, after d4 d5 my next book on the chessable will be with the move bishop g5 which is extremely entertaining and I would like to play a couple of games today just to see how the people will react and for you guys to see that uh, you can go for something different there is today in chess not you know the best possible variation there is no kind of a forced line if you don't want to get into it so you always have kind of a you know different things that you can learn study and of course implement in your own games and repertoire for sure so after knight f6 i would like to get the trampolski and after f5 i would like to get the knight on c3 which is my uh, primary answer uh, in this territory d4 d5 let's go for the bishop g5 let's go for the bishop g5 so you see we can go for the bishop g5 no matter what black choose instead of something like this but basically even here we are um, in uh, the position where we can try to force this bishop g5 so why not let's start and see in every single game uh, how this will work for us so let's go for the bishop g5 bishop g5 and again bishop g5 so you see in every single game I chose my main setup and we'll see where this kind of a uh, go for us so after the knight f6 which is not the best possible answer here it is kind of a move which is half automatic for uh, many people who play um, this kind of uh, Dutch line but uh, much better is to play d5 before I make the second move here or third move here of course because now after bishop g5 I'm pretty sure that uh, black get uh, the best possible uh, Trompowski setup that can get so bishop g5 is is very nice move and after e6 we have few of the moves which uh, are possible here but I would like to get my knight on d2 so idea is here um, I can go immediately with, the, uh, with e4 but after h6 I have to take on f6 and get uh, black uh, bishop pair where he doesn't have to um, get his pawn structure uh, collapse and he can take with a queen and get a bishop pair so it is possible line but I will try to go for something else so I'll go for the knight e2 just you know in order to get e4 and somehow uh, get the pawns in the center without to uh, exchange my dark square bishop so let's go for the knight e2 knight c6 is a very possible move and now I will go for the knight f3 c5 d5 d5 knight e2 you see like here in the line before we can also go for the e3 um, everything is possible 
I will always try to choose knight to d2. After the c5, I have a few moves here. So I can go for the e3, I can go for the knight c3, I can take on c5 if I like. So I have a kind of uh, two to three moves which I can start playing here. For now, let's start to take on c5 here immediately. Bishop goes to h4, bishop goes to h4, and after g6 now I would like to get my bishop on f6 for the knight. What is important here is to know that uh, white play for kind of the positional um, edge. Basically this means that I would like to exchange my dark square bishop, but I will um, kind of, you know, uh, let him to collapse with the pawn structure on the king side, because those pawns are not so good like the pawns on e7. Uh, f7, g6 and h7 because it will be a double pawns on the f file and what is also very important is that after that I will try to force the positional play um, which will include the e3 move that will you know perfectly um, get all the pawns on the dark squares and then I will try to squeeze him on the queen side by playing c4, knight c3, e3, knight e2, g3 and bishop goes on g2 so we'll see where this will uh, lead us f6 is probably, I will say, probably the best move here. It's a very interesting move, but uh, kind of the move that uh, can force very aggressive play for both of the sides. So let's go for the move bishop to d2 and see where this will go. Here we, we would like just to get the e3. Again, we have a chance to uh, somehow exchange our dark square bishop for the knight, but here this is not such a good idea like in the previous example. Why? Because after black goes for g7, g6, he's forced to take with the e-pawn and then he has a pawn on g6 which can be um, very good for black, for white, sorry. But when he go immediately for d5, then after the bishop takes on f6, he first of all can take with g takes on f6, which will um, leave him with a damaged pawn structure but with a great uh, initiative, possible initiative on the king side and in the center because then gf and e5 can create concrete pawn center for black. So if you like to get the positionally here then you can go for e3. If you like to get some kind of a more aggressive way to play where black can go for something more than start to you know defend the position then you would like to get for the bishop f6 here. I would like to get e3 and again e3. Knight bd7 is uh, for me the best possible answer here which kind of uh, black can try in order to put the pawn on e5 immediately. And uh, if you are here not you know cautious and go for the e3, black will immediately get the pawn on e5 and completely free his game. So this will be the instant um, equity or equality. Okay, but in order to stop that, you have two moves and the most playable one is knight g to f3 and the second one which is slightly more tricky but it's playable and which I will try to go uh, for here is a move f4. And the idea of f4 is to get very very aggressive setup of pawns because the pawns on d4 and f4 will create a great post on e5 for the knight after the knight f3 and knight e5 and then after that I also after the f4 doesn't have to be worried about the move like you know e5. The problem for a move f4 is that he has immediately kind of the move like knight to g4 and then he can jump on e3 if I'm not cautious. So I can go for f4, I can go for, for the knight f3. Um, okay let's try with knight f3. f6 now I would like to get my bishop on d2 I believe again. Okay, knight goes to f6, knight goes to d2. Yeah, and now this is very bad because this will completely break his pawn structure there. So d5, h6 and now I can start to be very very aggressive. Now kind of a moves like queen goes to h5 can be deadly for him because you know he'll have to go with the king there on d7 and uh, the position for him uh, will not be such uh, easy to handle. So let's go for the let's say e3, g5 bishop goes to g3 and here I can take on f6 or I can go for the knight c3. Let's take on f6 for example. Knight goes to d2, bishop goes to d3. Here 
Um, you can see that uh, anyone who seeing the long kind of the system will see significant uh, similarity to this system, of course, because the bishop on f4 is in the London setup, the main thing that uh, white wants to get for. But uh, here, when we have the bishop on g5, then somehow this bishop is, for me, slightly more active because on f4, this bishop, you know, is on a great uh, diagonal but doesn't create anything concrete. Here, this bishop on g5 can at some point maybe take the knight on f6 and get one uh, of the defender out on the on the king side or also he at some point can exchange the dark square bishop which to be honest is much better than the light square bishop that is for now completely inactive and it will be very hard for uh, for black you know to get this bishop into a play so both of the systems are fine for me this kind of uh, bishop g5 line is uh, is a little bit more aggressive and uh, i'm doing this for quite a while and to manage to get very solid results. So it's it's kind of a very similar system as the London, but it's the bishop on g5, not on f4. And basically everything else stands. So we would like to get my bishop on d3 and knight on f3. The next thing, which is for me better when the bishop is on g5, is the fact that you can go with white f4. Uh, and when this bishop is on f4, this is not possible. Why is this very important? For me, it's important because we can create a very nice outpost on e5, which will be a great place for the knight after the knight f3 later on. So this is kind of the system which I really like. Knight f6, and now this doesn't make sense. So to be honest, go for h6 and then go for the knight f6 somehow doesn't fit in the system because h6 is a clear lose of a time. If you want to get the knight on f6, it is much better than to play first h6. If nothing else, if I now take on f6, he will probably have to take with the, with the e-pawn. Because if he takes with the g-pawn, then the h5 um, will be very hardly to, to play. And this bishop will stay there and will not be able to, to get kind of a square on h6, for instance. And then also, um, you know, h6 is just the lose of a time. Okay, I lose my tempi to go with the bishop on h4. But kind of a system which uh, is, I think, not the best uh, possible for, for black. But let's stay with the ordinary setup and let's go for the e3. e5. So now I can start with e4 to kind of uh, demolish black center. Or I can even put a pawn on b4 and try to play with this pawn on c5. Let's start to see where this will go. Okay. Now he takes here, now I will get his, uh, e3 and then queen h5 is very attractive for me. Of course, I would like to exchange on f6 and after c5 let's stay with our uh, idea. After the Now you see how bad it is because now after queen h5 he's lost. Bishop goes to f5, I can go for, for knight e2 starting to go and hope for e4 or for a c4. I can also try to get c4, knight c3, which I think I can. Okay, e3. And now my favorite system, so g3 and so on and so on. Takes on f6, knight goes on c3, h6, okay, g6, okay. And now we can go even for e4. It looks like very attractive, to be honest. Bishop c4 looks like a great move, so let's start with bishop to c4. Knight goes to c6. Now I can go for e4, probably. I can go for knight f3. Knight c3. Let's go for e4. <coughs> knight e2. e3. Bishop goes to d3, so pretty standard stuff. I'll just take the pawn. The same kind of a setup, so you'll see over and over again. Now I can go for, for e4 and kind of get uh, every single pawn in the center. Bishop goes to, DG, to g2. Yeah, so you see how, how bad this is. So I would like to get the knight on c3 or maybe the pawn on c4 immediately. b6. Yeah, okay, now he can start to do something like knight, uh, bishop a6, but this doesn't work after c3, g3, d4, and now I will just try to establish a great uh, pawns there by 
getting this bishop on c4 probably. Okay, bishop e7, bishop goes to b3, okay, c6, and now let's start with d5. Let's go for knight e3, knight c3, bishop d3. So over and over again, I just wants to get a very solid setup. Knight goes to f3, k, k, and now I can get my knight immediately on e5, or I can try to castle first. Both of options are fine. Let's go for the knight e5 immediately. Castle, bishop goes to g2. D takes on c, let's take with the bishop. Knight goes on c6, um, knight goes on f3. Bishop to b4, knight can go here. Castle, and now I have this kind of a setup which involves f4 and then knight f3 and then knight e5 or immediately knight f3 knight to e5 what i will try for now to not allow black is first to get my queen on e2 in order not to allow him kind of the uh, exchanges by playing bishop to a6 so this is kind of a solid move to not allow that and after c6 i have here probably very nice position because i can go for for e4 and then okay this pawn on d4 can be at some point slightly weaker than it is usual, but um, let's see where this will lead. So I can go for the e4, he would like probably to get the bishop on g6, and then I can start building uh, the position even with the with the knight g2 and then f3 bishop can go back if, if I like later on. So he is not able to get kind of a pressure on d4. Um, or it is, it's it's very nice question, because if I go for e4, he goes back, he has kind of a move like queen b6, and then the pawn on d4 can be weak. So maybe we should be slightly more careful and get for the e3 here. Okay, f5, yeah, now this looks like a tempting move, but I'm not still sure how this will work here, because I have bishop to g8. I will kind of destroy his king side here. c4 is this a pawn or black try to do something else uh, if i take on e4 he will take de i will take bishop e4 f5 i will just take on c6 so this is not a trick what else he can do g4 is nothing h5 is slow why not to take a pawn 95 okay i'll take d6 i would like to get knight g2 knight c6 and let's start here with f4 knight goes a5 so this is again a piece so i can just start collecting those those pieces and here um queen h5 will be very unpleasant to meet i'll take a pawn and i will again go for the f4 and here i will take on e7 a5 so this is kind of the move that uh, black play in hope uh, to get kind of the bishop a6 here so now i can go for something like c4 and doesn't allow him that or i can start playing for e4 when after bishop a6 e5 will get kind of you know pressure for me on the king side but uh, i'm thinking that uh, without this light square bishop will be very hard to do something concrete there so i will for now try to wait and see bishop a6 and after that I will go for a c4 so this is kind of the stop and go uh, idea first of all you would like to get something concrete develop a piece for instance the knight on f3 and then after that i would like to get uh, after if he likes to get bishop on a6 then i will go for a c4 so we'll see what will happen c5 c3 d6 and now the white idea is to get this knight on the c4 square where this knight will make concrete uh, pressure on the black queen side. So first of all, I would like to get the bishop out 
Okay, V6, now I have to find a way how to start checkmating uh, this king. So, let's go for queen f5 first. d5, now I would like to exchange. Uh, now, okay. Okay. Yeah, as I, as I was thinking, so I would like just to get h4 and stop everything there on the king side. And bishop goes to g4. Now I can take on e5, probably. Okay, queen e7. Let's support the pawn on f4. Let's support the pawn on d4. Um, and let's go for the bishop b5, which is kind of a killer move, I think. Or can he go somewhere? This move. Now I would like to get c4, of course, to get kind of a play there. And now why c6 and d5 is not so good when I have a pawn on c4. Basically, black has to go for d5 before he get a pawn on c6, and then I'm able to play for c4 because now this pawn is almost lost. Doesn't look like like this, but to be honest, this pawn is almost lost because. I can attack him with a knight on c3, with a queen on b3, this bishop is attacking a pawn, and not to say that this knight can go on e2 and then on f4, and I will get this knight sooner, uh, sorry, this pawn sooner or later. So it means that the black strategy is completely wrong. g5, bishop goes to g3, and here let's go for the knight f3, as I mentioned before. Rook g7, okay, it's a nice, but I don't think that is enough to, to get the equality. Now, where I want to put my queen? Let's go here. Okay. Take on h4. Let's take this one. Takes on e4. Okay. Bishop takes, let's take the rook, start creating kind of a play there, okay, f5, I don't want to take the pawn on f6, so I would like just a castle there, king goes to d7, and now I can start the moves like bishop d5 check, and then he go for a c6, then queen d5 check, and then bishop takes on c6, and this should be, should be almost winning. Okay, f4 as I play in uh, many different uh, moves before. Here, let's go for a3 first to see where this bishop will remove himself. And after h6, just put the bishop away. I can also, you know, to take on f6, and this is not bad at all. So basically, I will not leave black with a tempi, and then I will start to uh, to play from there. Okay, let's go for c4 f5 is, is a nice move, and now I will start getting my knight on the c4 square. Oh, king goes to d6. It looks like... Okay, d6. Now let's see, I can go for c4, I can go for a4, a5, I can start making a pressure on the on the queen side, my bishop is better than he, his bishop will ever be, and uh, if I manage to get my knight on the very nice square, can be very tricky for him to play. So I have kind of a move even like bishop to b5, you know, because after that, I can at some point take this knight on d7 and then stay with a better bishop than the better knight than the bishop on, on d7. But let's start to be first very aggressive and go for a4, a5. c5. Okay, this looks like uh, a good move, but let's start the castle there. Knight goes on e4. Okay, now he has to 
take the bishop uh, on g3. Bishop goes to a5, fine. Let's try to cancel there. Bishop takes on f3, of course. I would like to get my queen there on f3. Uh, okay, knight goes to c3. e3. Okay. F5, so why not? Yeah, now this kind doesn't make a sense because now I can again exchange my light square bishop uh, for the knight on c6, and from there he'll be completely lost because even after um, he get a bishop, uh, he is a pawn down. He has very bad pawn on h5, and the knight e5 if is kind of a move which will be automatically almost the winning move for me. So. Just take on c6 with a check, bishop f6, knight f3. So you see kind of the strategy there that I use there. And here I can go for a bishop b5, which for now looks like a very good move for me. Bishop e7, knight f3, pretty standard. Bishop takes on e5. Um, kind of a move which, you know, looks scary for, for him to play. But okay, let's go for the rook d1 immediately. Okay, can I take on e3? He would like to take on b4, I think. And if I don't take on e3, he'll go for the knight e4. So let's take this, this pawn, okay? Yeah, c6, so now I have this kind of a move, which is, you know, it, it's not. Hmm. Let's give him a check. a6 on take this one, takes on c6 and just go for the g3. So my idea is to get the g3, knight e5, rook h5 and the game is over. Okay, exchange on g3. Um, now I can again go for knight e5 immediately or castle. Let's get a knight on e5, knight a6, but now this knight you'll see very easily is completely out of a play, so let's castle. Uh, queen b7 and now start to get kind of a play on the queen side so queen b3 rook d1 looks like the moves that uh, have a idea for me queen b3 as i mentioned okay doesn't really matter knight goes on e5 and the game is over probably and here i can go for bishop e2 it's not a checkmate which <laughs> is really really Something that I don't like there. 92, b5, okay, but you know, all of the pawns will be on the on the light squares. So let's get maybe now the queen on a3, then start to get even a b4, or first to get the rook on d1 to support. Um, okay, let's get the rook first there. Queen f6, but uh, what about the 94 now? He'll take this one, and then if he takes here, I'll take this one. If I take, I doesn't get anything, so let's go for knight e4 there. Knight to c6, sure. Let's go for a solid move like b3. Or, mm, or d takes on c5 can be here. The move as well okay let's get this one knight before now this one is hanging so let's go for knight a3 okay queen d6 now you see that rook h5 this is this is a winning move probably or first of all i i would like even to get c3 so there is no kind of a queen before checks and anything else Castle knight e5, knight e7, again, kind of a move which is solid move but doesn't create anything there. So let's get again queen on b3, queen goes on a5, knight goes on e2, bishop goes to c5. Now I would like to get even a pawn on d5. Now the knight is, is hanging, so he will have to be very precise. Now let's go for c3 here. E6, nothing is here really. Oh, this bishop is hanging. Okay, let's exchange the bishop. Bishop C6, okay. Mm. 
Do I want to get queen a3 and then knight b3? So uh, I would like to go for uh, for a uh, for a dark squares and the pawn on c5. So let's go for the queen a3. It looks like a good move for me. Castle knight d5 as before a6. You don't want to get black the option to go for a b5. So let's start with a4. Knight c6, and then I just wants to castle, and after that, this pawn on d5 will just be so weak that he'll not be able to, I think, um, defend himself. So let's go for a b4. This is quite winning, I think, for white. Queen takes there, and I goes on f3. So it's a great position for me. Now he did he overlook a pawn or he sacrificed a pawn for me, but. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that I have to take something there. So, who wants to get a b a rook takes on b5? Or, queen takes on c5, b takes on a4. And then get the knight on, on d4, for instance. Yeah, why not? Queen d5, what is here? Rook d1, queen takes on g2. G1. No, I can first just castle, and there, the the bishop on f8 is under attack. Let's start from there. Bishop b7, and now castle. Bishop b3, queen takes on b3. Knight d7. Castle, rook d8, rook. So now my idea is to just you know straightforwardly run to play on the on the queen side. So basically, I would like to get b4, b5. So queen a4, b4, b5 is the main idea. Let's get the rook still on on c1 first, and then see from there. Um, knight goes to d7, and now I can take on e7, or I can try to do some kind of the moves like knight, uh, sorry, uh, like bishop f4, but let's try to take this one. Queen to d5, can I now try to take this one or now he has something like uh, queen h1. If I take on h5 and he goes for the queen h1, I'll just take, he'll take with the rook, king d2, take, take, I'm going to pawn up, so let's get this one. g4 looks to be but to me, now this looks like not the best possible way of playing. Let's get the knight just back. The f4 piece, uh, the f4 um, square can be weak. Okay. Knight d7, and now I think that knight d6 is is just you know a great move for me. Or I can even take here on e5, take and then knight d6. But knight f3 is kind of a move. Let's start with knight d6. Rook d8. Um, and uh, one, two, three, knight f4, and the pawn is under attack. This pawn on b7 is under attack. So I have here more than one move which are pretty good. The only thing is, which one is better? So if I take on b7. Uh, knight before then rook b8 will activate kind of a pieces for him and uh, if I am not going for the pawn on b7 hmm. yeah maybe queen b7 knight before queen b5 queen b5 queen b5 and I'm just a pawn up the knight is hanging so well why not to take rook b8 is not possible so let's take a pawn why not here of course a5 is a nice move to get this Okay. Did he 
here where I want to put my queen. Now, okay, to be honest, this is close to equal position because now he managed to exchange a couple of pieces and the only thing that now is not so good for him is the pawn structure on the queen side because the pawn structure there uh, is, is of course much better for white because those pawns cannot go back and if I manage to get kind of the control over the light squares uh, can be very nice for white to play for a long long time so let's start to go, to go for something like queen e2 but, but then again if I try to think about uh, what he can do I'm not still sure can he go for something like knight e4 if I get my queen on e2 Probably he can, and I don't want to do that because then, hmm, he has a queen on, on d5, which can be slightly better move. Hmm, the idea is to get e4 probably, and then this knight will be under attack. Let's go for queen b5. Queen e7, bishop goes to d3, knight e7, just castle there, rook g8, ok, bishop to d6, bishop takes on d6, rook h5, queen h5, rook g8, and then start to go for there, c3, rook d5, Queen goes to a3, I think, or hmm. again, very interesting position for for calculate. So if I go queen d4 and he goes for the rook b8, I have rook a4. Get this pawn on b2, but get but get the one on a6, and I have perfect positions because my pawns are on the uh, dark squares I completely cut off him from any kind of the attack and because of a queen on d4 I have rook a7 in the very next move so I'm pretty sure that this should be a fine move knight d5 again I'll just take and here now I can start immediate actions on the queen side by playing queen a4 or queen a3 which one is better is hard to say but I will try to get first queen a4 Okay, bishop goes to c5, I'll just take, yeah, but now how you will escape from the checkmate, it's not clear. Okay, now let's try to get this pawn, but he'll go for the f5, so let's go with the knight on e2, okay, yeah, but now I will try to go for this one, I don't see how he will improve. Let's go for h4, okay, king h1, okay, I don't want to get checkmated, so let's go for this one. Ah, I'm too fast. I'm too fast. Okay, it's checkmate. Rook e3, queen b5, what about rook d1? Where is his compensation? He should be somehow losing there e5 okay let's just take this one and now i'll take this one what i'm not seeing here okay knight b4 queen b5 is just a pawn i think for me okay d4 as i mentioned okay let's castle there let's take a bishop Okay, but now you will have kind of a problems there because okay just take d6 okay bishop goes oh you can even take on f6 because bishop h5 will run into um, will run into g, uh, f takes on g7 so let's go for this one f5 kind of a strategy which we have in the game before so let's take this one queen goes there and now 
I have even a move like c4, so, and he has to take the bishop. Hmm. Okay, I have here pretty much the best possible position for almost all my pieces. Only this rook is somehow misplaced. So, I can go this rook now on a1, because I don't see how he will, you know, improve the position of his pieces. This bishop cannot go anywhere. And I will concretely try to get something like rook e7 and then rook a7. So let's go for this one. Let's get a knight there. Knight b4. And bishop f6. Th this is my dream scenario there. Okay. And king can go on e2. Okay. Queen e7. And now queen c2, okay. Queen takes on f6, queen on e5 is a check, okay. Okay, now I completely destroy his pawn structure there. Now I can start to use my pieces to to make kind of the aggression there on the king side, but uh, I have to be careful. So. Let's get the knight first on c4, I think. How long have you been playing? I'm 25, just started playing. Um, I'm playing for 25 years, probably. And uh, I'm kind of uh, someone who doesn't go for uh, professional players uh, with uh, 17, 18, when I was second in creation, um, under 20 competition. And then I start, you know, just to coaching and some stuff like this. So you can improve, it's, it's not late because you're 25, so I'm 35 almost, so you have plenty of uh, still chances to improve. Okay, okay, and bishop h3. Now, this is kind of a move which I can just, you know, um, Maybe no, maybe just go and get back with this bishop. Okay. Rook c2. Yeah, but what now? I'm not really sure how good this this is because okay, queen c3, but he will lose on the on the second uh, on the seventh rank. I'm pretty sure. I can also, you know, just get for the rook a3. So let's let's see what can I do here. Yeah, rook g, rook b3 also looks like an incredibly nice idea. Um, and then, of course, the idea that I have is just, again, very good. So rook e7, and if he takes queen c3, queen c3, rook c3, I'll just get the rook on a7, and he's probably lost there. I don't know. It's it's hard to hard to say, but uh, I'm thinking that everything should be should be good here. Let's get the rook on e7 and let's see what will what will happen there. Okay. Let's start to get kind of the initiative there on the queen side. Queen a5, bishop goes to e2. I can get my knight on h5 immediately just to see where this bishop will go in. Okay, let's get the bishop first. Queen c6, queen takes on c6. Okay. Rook b8, knight c3. Okay. F5, so now I can try to get the better knight versus a bad bishop there. Rook d1, perfectly fine. Bishop h3, rook d1 again. B5. Now again, nice trick. So if I take on b5, he'll take queen b5, bishop a6, I lose the rook. Um, so my idea will be to go for the rook d1 here. c5, let's squeeze him, b5, rook d8, let's improve the position of a king, queen c3, and now um, I'm not sure what he's hoping for, but let's see. c6, queen c2. 
rook g7, f4, so I'm just improving, rook c3, rook a7, let's see how he will defend himself, bishop goes to c2, knight f6 and castle. Queen b6. Now, this kind of a position is very bad for him because he doesn't have any kind of the counter chances still on the queen side. When I have open, uh, half open f file, I have great bishop, my queen can easily improve, my knight can easily get into play in both of the rooks there. So it looks like it's it's very ugly for him to play. So rook b1 just doesn't want to allow him to take anything there. Okay, now he go for b5. I would like to secure the position for my pawn. So let's go for b3, b4, um, and now I'm trying to get kind of the play on the queen side. Let's go for knight b3, the idea is to get on c5, knight g6, let's get the knight on h5. I doesn't want to exchange the knight on g6 because he can then start exchanging the pieces. So let's get the knight on h5, rook e3, yeah, but this is now just lost, I think. Okay. Rook d7 is a check. Bishop e6. Now I can go for b5, I think. Rook b1 uh, is not good because bishop c4. I can get a b5 immediately. Why not? Knight f6. Okay. Completely overlook bishop d7. I'm <laughs> almost blind, <laughs> but okay, he doesn't see it. Bishop d3, rook d1, king d1, rook c8, rook fc1, of course. Okay, let's just take everything, queen c7, and now I should try to get a pawn on d6, so let's go for this one, take the rook. It's again the check. So, but uh, okay, okay, okay. Now I can try to exchange a, a knight because then the pawn on h six is hanging. A knight d four. King f2, bishop goes to e8, okay, h5, bishop d7, now I will start to open the game there, but first I would like to get rook on f2 and so on and so on. I can also to get my queen here immediately on uh, h5 and then starting kind of the moves like rook f7, but uh, or queen g4 can be a very nice move for me, or even e4, so... I have a plenty of options there. Let's start with, uh, okay, the only thing that he can go for is f6, and then I'll try to put my queen there. So let's go first for the queen g4. Bishop b7, rook d1, e5. f5, okay, now I want to exchange a pair of knights because then my knight will be monster versus a bishop, so knight e5 is a perfect move, and now I just want to triple the pieces on the d file, so I just have to see how. The easiest way is to go rook d3 and then queen on d2, I think. Rook c6, now my idea is clear, so to start exchanging the pieces and so on because I'm a pawn up. Why not? 
rook b2, but then there will be a checkmate, it's very close, so he should be extremely careful, and I don't see how this will make to work. I can also just check him, king f8, and then h6, it's kind of a checkmate, I think. We can start to think about for a, for a second, but I'm thinking that rook g7, king f8, h6 will just run into a checkmate, so why not? Okay. Oh, here we have kind of a mess. Okay. Exchange there. H6. Bishop b7 now. I just want to castle there. H file is a great file for me. Great knight e5. Uh, rook e1, just to get an exchange one piece. Knights. No, I have a bishop pair, so I have plenty of chances there. I'm pretty much winning here after the bishop d7, I think, because this knight is hanging, and when the rook is going away, I'll just give him a check on c6, and then I'll take the knight. So it should be, should be okay for me. Here, I'm not sure what he's hoping for, but I'm pretty sure that he made kind of a mistake, because bishop d7... I don't see how he will get the knight anywhere there because I can take on b5. So let's see what he will try to do. Queen g6, g3 just to stop everything there. Okay, now this is just winning. Now I would like just to exchange the knight because I'll, I will stay there with a, with the knight versus a bishop, which is great for me. Here, let's go for the queen d2 as I mentioned. And now I want to get the knight on c6, so let's go for the knight d4, bishop g5. Now, rook f3, uh, yep, but, you know, I would like just to exchange everything there, rook e4, rook b6, rook b6, queen b6, rook c4, and so on. How good this is? Very good plan. You see, Monk is extremely good player. First of all, many of... Players who get this position will try to, you know, kind of defend the pawn on d6, which can be very annoying for, for black because at some point I will have moves like knight c5 or start to get a position even better by playing per c3 and then take on d6 at some point. But he goes for rook e4, which is extremely good move. Because now, if I go for c3, he can even take on c4, I think, because I don't see how I will find anything else to stop him. And if I go for the rook d6, rook d6, queen d6, queen d6, rook d6, he'll take on c4. And then it's the matter of question, can I pick the pawn on c5 or I can't? But I don't see any other move to go for, so I have to take on d6. Okay, here I'm a clear pawn up, and here I'm going to change up. Uh, let's get just... Hmm. Now, I have to be careful here because I don't want to give him a chance to, to advance there on the king side, so, the queen side, sorry, so I have to be precise here. How or where to put my knight? If I go for knight b3, he'll go for a c5 and I will not be able to go for, for a knight b4. But what can be annoying for him is the fact that this, this pawn can be weak and I can go for the bishop f1, bishop g2 which can be very good for me. Okay, let's start. Okay, I just don't allow this bishop to go away. And uh, here positional edge is clear, so I have a knight on e5 versus a bishop on b7, which is just a dead piece. Uh, now I'll just start picking up the pawns. Bishop b7, I have intermediate move. Uh, king f8, now I can start with a3 or knight c5 immediately or even knight c3, which looks like even better option for me, because I want to take this pawn, not to start getting some, some squares around. So, knight c3 or knight b6. Let's go for knight c3. Bishop g2, king f2. It's just over. Here, this will be very hard for me. And here, I would like to get my bishop on f1, which looks like a great option for me, but we'll see. King goes to d3. Knight takes on e4.
<laughs> I can't go for that line. So my idea was to get uh, 94, 94, rook f8, or can I? And queen e2. Or can I? If I go for a queen e2 immediately, then he has something like e5. If I take on e4, he would like to take with a knight. Rook f8 is a check. He'll take with the king. I'll go for the queen e2. He'll go for the bishop f5. Rook e1, rook e8. Rook f1. I'm not sure, but I... Okay, I can go always for uh, for knight c4, king b3. Um, let's go for this one. No, bishop g4. Bishop c4, king 3 Let's go for this one. I'm not sure, but you know, I have to do what I have to do, so... A5, okay, it's just very slow, I think, so let's start to get some action on the king side, rook c4, now, okay, and now this is something that is probably winning for me, so knight d7, knight will pick up a pawn, get a knight on c4, and game is over, so probably this is, this is a winning blow. Let's go for b4, uh, a6, a4, just doesn't allow him anything, yeah. And now you see he have to get me to square on b4, so let's put the knight there, queen c8. Now, d5 or dc5, because I have even queen, eight, queen takes on e7, so let's get the d5, let's get the h, d and g4, you know, just exchange, queen a6, I don't think so. Um, and here just pick up the another pawn. Huh. A3. Yeah, now just pick up the pawn. This should be enough. Okay, bishop g2 is the trade square for a bishop. Just get the pawns there, I just start attacking the pawns. Bishop goes to h3, now I have even queen a7. There is nothing for him to hope for. This queen can go at some point somewhere here, but uh, I'll just go back and take everything. I don't see where he will put his chances. Now let's put more pressure there. Here, do I like to open this file? Not, so I'll try to, to open the G file. Rook C2. Why he offers me? Okay, he would like to go for this one. Let's go for H4. Knight C4. Take on G4. Bishop E8. Now I have Now I just have to find a way how to attack the pawn on, on d5. Can I just do start doubling on d5? Why not? Yep. Yeah, kind of a best move. What 
was my idea. So I can't really take on on d5, right? Yep. If I go knight h5 now, bishop h8, this is nothing. Let's go back. Let's improve the king. Now this should be just winning. So check. This is an incredibly strong player, I have to say. So completely outplay me and I'm pretty much dead here because I don't have even a move because now uh, I can't really remove the knight there is no square for him his bishop is now not under attack anymore and bishop b3 is just a killing blow so I congratulation for a monk but uh, he is pretty pretty yeah congratulation monk I have to resign okay now I should go for a g file straightforwardly here I would like to get okay let's get the rook there on d1 okay let's try to get this but where, where is his uh, idea to improve so do he has something like a checkmate I don't see it because even queen f3 will run into knight f4 right or first knight f4 and then I'll just try to take the bishop there Okay, just not to allow him anything there. And here, okay. F5. Let's get a king closer. Let's get my rook there on F5. Okay. Queen F7. Now, what about to get the knight back? Okay. And now I think F4 should be should be a great move because I will completely cut off this this pawn I will close the game in the center and the f pawns will be always double because no matter what happens my f pawn will control both of f pawns that white has a uh, black has sorry here I would like just to rook d2 no rook d1 is probably better okay okay Now let's get a king closer and this should be should be enough f6 bishop e8 so this is kind of the scenario which is the best possible one for me so when he will leave without the moves there i will pretty much be winning just have to find a way where to break so now i can start to put the pressure there on the king side but how to do that so i have kind of a knight which is not a good piece and I have to find a way how to get this knight into a play probably the best way is to get a knight on f1 on h2 and on g4 so why not okay g6 this is just the winning position here I make a very stupid idea to start giving the e4 pawn so I will suffer for for a while here I would like just to get one more piece and here let's start to organize the attack by playing rook g5 let's go for a b3 or first b3 where he wants to put this knight I'm not sure let's see just just try to take everything there from him bishop goes to b7 now now okay okay but uh, where he wants to put this knight now Okay, he wants to get these for two pawns, but it's probably not enough. Rook goes to g1, of course. Uh, okay, now I want to get my queen back into a play. So I can even go for something like knight d4, because there is nothing for him to, to go for. And I can even take on d6, so probably this should be just game over. 
Oh no, he can have something like f5. Okay, I can get my queen all the way like here, like here, like here. I don't see a point for his play. b5, uh, interesting move, but... No, I missed a piece. Ah. Yeah. How bad I play. Okay. Okay. Just get the knight. Okay. Mm. Take this one. Now, would I like to get my knight or the bishop? Probably I should exchange a bishop because my knight is, is a better in this closed position. And now let's go back. Just right in time. Okay, now he managed to put the pawn there, but now he has a problem because in this closed position the bishop pair is not the objectively best possible minor piece that he can have. So let's go like this. It's still close. Thank you, Gambit. Um, hmm. just a clear piece so there is nothing to to be worried about for me do anyone have any kind of the questions here h4 Knight e4, knight e4. Rook f8, king f8, bishop e4, queen e4, queen f2. I'm not sure, but uh, let's try to get this one. get e4 now <laughs> mm. well, let's go the knight on d4 let's place him king f2 okay but here I would like to get the queen on e2 and on f4, queen e6 is, is a check and the game probably should be over. Bishop to d8. Okay.
should be careful here because I really like to get the four mage four. So okay, let's check, and the game should be over. He should be seven. And what if I now try to get? Yep, this should be enough. Knight e4, now knight f6 is just, you know, probably a killing blow at some point. This will not get anywhere to black because he doesn't have squares on the king side to. But what if I now just take the form h4? Let's try. He will stay with this extremely bad piece. Now I would like to play a4. Okay. b4. Let's go for h5. Right. You know, and in this kind of the positions, I will always I will always have a chance to try to open the game on the other side because this king will be always worse than this one because of the pawns and the knight that uh, make kind of you know a squeeze so i would like to open the a file this should be fine for me probably yeah why it should be better Okay, rook goes to a1. Okay. Queen c7. Bishop d5 is a check. Okay, now can I start doing some crazy things on the A file? Let's try to improve here. First the rook, then I will get my pawn. Yeah, now this is fine for me because I have the H pawn which is very very fast. So and the knight g3 is still the option for me. Queen e7. Yeah, now this now this is great I think for me because I managed to defend my pawn on h5, I get my knight on g3 which is extremely active and start attacking on f5. Um, here I want to exchange this one, bishop f6, let's get my king closer to the queen side and then I'll start to making you know um, just uh, extra pawns there so it should be it should be fine for me. h4, this is kind of the pawn which I like to get, so why not, okay, uh, okay, then 
B1. start attacking let's start to improving which one we like to get on f5 or on d5 or on d5 everything is fine I can't really take on f5 because of the bishop c3 on the end of the variation so I will lose, lose my queen, so this is not possible. What I can do is also to start improving on the A file by getting my queen on B1 and C from there. So let's start. Okay, bishop goes to G6. Now, hmm. Bishop takes this one. Now, can I go for? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, now I have kind of a domination there because my pieces are better than blacks, so should be fine for me, probably slightly better. Rook c7, queen a7, something like this. I would like to get here. Even queen a5, queen c7 is kind of a nice move for me. And the idea, of course, because now he's kind in in very um, defensive structure. So, okay, it's, it's hard to imagine that I can uh, easily break, but it's not easy for him to defend. So king goes here. So my idea is perfectly easy to, to spot. So I wants to take on a5, then check him on b3 and get a queen king before and probably then should be should be much better for me so let's go here bishop e7 um, queen a5 as i mentioned should be okay oh okay this is a nice one okay Yeah, bishop d8, so I have to go on a3. But this bishop, you know, is, is probably the best on this long diagonal. Here, it's not clear. Now I have this kind of a move. Queen goes to, to e8. What is here a point? Now I can reroute my knight there. Why not? Queen d7. Okay. Uh, okay. Now I have a big domination.
position there, so it's it's hard for him to play. Bishop e6, knight goes to g3. Bishop f8. Should be a draw. This is lost. Okay. takes pal takes just ninety three and everything is secured there yeah ninety eight yeah this 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 player is also ex extremely good so they can't really break anywhere still so it's 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 incredible Make a draw here. Thank for the game. Sneak on leeches. <laughs> Thank you, Lite Sweet Lake. So this is just just easy win for me. Yeah. Just take everything. Okay. start exchange at least a rook I don't see anything there so it's it's just probably a draw yep Okay, it's draw. Is this the only game that we have still? Oh no, we have two ongoing. So, it was again very nice to, to play with you guys. Okay, here we still have kind of a, of a game, but uh, I think that this also is pretty much close to draw. Okay, have some tricks now, knight f5, rook d5. We'll see. I have queen to h6. Yeah. Again and again, I have incredibly nice players there yeah those guys are really really strong and this is very good you know to see some players who just start playing that play extremely good like for instance this guy or the guy uh, this this one is also extremely strong so he make incredible kind of a series where he finds clear way how to you know just put me down and doesn't allow me any kind of of, uh, of a win uh, not technical but uh, yeah but here can I now take on d5 it looks like something that I can go here for let's see maybe he didn't see that or I, I blunder now king g6 it's always a matter of
Yeah. Yep, probably I'm blunder. <laughs> extremely, extremely different. And then lost now. find this move in a couple of seconds. Oof, extremely good. Okay, I have to take this. We'll see what happens. Oh, I make a wrong move. Okay, I have to resign. So he completely outplay me and it's Still one game to go, so I will offer a draw because this is this is just maybe even slightly worse for me. But okay, I start to offer a draw and we'll see how this will end. But uh, never mind. Thank you guys for today. Uh, I was pretty pleasant to have a chance to play against you one more day. Uh, it was a fun for me uh, and I think it's also fun. For you so I will make kind of a next stream I hope tomorrow uh, somewhere around the same time like here so uh, from 5 to 7 somewhere in between I have this kind of a, of a chess competition so I will go for that and after that we see us in the next stream have a nice evening and take care